President, Senators as we uh, prepare to vote on uh, this nominee, uh, I want to implore my colleagues to take one last minute to think about uh, this decision before us. I ask them to recall the words I said just a bit earlier this morning from the hymn that Martha and I heard at our, our church, not far from our home in Wilmington, Delaware, early this spring, beautiful spring morning. It's a song, a hymn that uh, I think we all know, for the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies, Lord of all, to thee we raise. This our hymn of grateful praise. A powerful message reminds me of the incredible responsibility that we have in this body, in this body, to serve and to protect the people who sent us here. We must serve as stewards also of this planet, which has been entrusted to us for the most vulnerable among us. And for me, that's not just my responsibility as a parent or as an official elected to serve the people of my state for all these years. It is a moral imperative, I think a sacred obligation. There's perhaps no more basic human need than having clean air to breathe. I implore my colleagues, our colleagues, we've already seen Mr. Warham's extreme agenda at the EPA once before. I would be at the, it would be at the height of your responsibility in shirking our moral obligation to confirm him here today. And I implore you, join me in voting no on Bill Warham. Thank you very much.